my God. In Nashville, Tennessee, videos posted to social media show the intense wind. Oh my God. And the night sky lit up from exploding electrical equipment. In just minutes, powerful tornadoes shredded homes in Middle Tennessee. The city of Clarksville was hardest hit, where the National Weather Service says an EF3 tornado reached max wind speeds of 150 miles per hour. Yet closer to Nashville, an EF2 tornado left its mark as it sent mobile homes airborne at this trailer park. Firefighters believe that's how 31-year-old mother Floridima Perez and her two-year-old son Anthony Mendez were killed. One of the firemen, I said, did they find the baby? And they said, yes, they couldn't find it because she was holding it, covering it, protecting it. Another trailer belonged to 37-year-old father, Joseph Dalton, who died from his injuries. I'm thankful that we're all alive, but what hurts me more than anything is he lost his life last night. The National Weather Service reported at least six tornado tracks. Officials say at least 22 structures were destroyed and more than 80 people were injured. I hope nobody was in those houses. Tennessee Governor Bill Lee toured the damage Sunday. There are victims whose lives are devastated and will never be the same. Tanya Osborne says she's lucky she wasn't home when her house was hit. I would have been in the closet that's now been sucked out. Now she's left with very little. My whole life has been reduced to several garbage bags and what I can get in them and what I can salvage. The local electrical company says there was extensive damage to some of its substations, so some areas may not have power fully restored, possibly for weeks. Clarksville and Montgomery County schools will be closed today and tomorrow as officials continue to assess damage to campuses there. Manuel Bajorquez, CBS News, Nashville.